Hi guys, this is part three of creating a bar chart or column chart. And uh, up to now, if you watched part one and two, we built up to this level of complexity where we have a side by side or a clustered bar chart for each salesperson based on their sales for the months of January through March. Okay, and I was thinking, how can we add to this? perhaps make this a little bit more complicated and I was and I thought to myself it might not be actually uh, it might be a little artificial to do an example more complicated than this because pretty much this builds up what the level of complexity that you'll see so I thought maybe we'd add some bells and whistles and discuss the different types of column and bar charts and uh, how to switch between them instead I think that would be more useful okay so Having created this uh, clustered bar chart, let's say we wanted these clusters, instead of being side by side, to be stacked. Okay, so January would be under, February would be under March. Okay, so the way you can do that is go, once you've created it, go to the chart tools, design tab, and go to change chart type. And this is a good, also a good way to see how these different charts relate to each other. Now if we click, we're right, right now we're on clustered column. If we click stacked column, that's exactly what it will do. So it's stacked February on top of January and March in turn stacked on top of February. And for each person, okay? So it's given the same information except it's a different visual. Um, I prefer the previous way, but this one sometimes can be uh, useful. Okay. Now, a third type of column chart, general category of column chart that they that Excel gives us, is the 100% stacked column chart. Now, what this does is not only does it stack it, but as you can see, it relates each it within each person or within each salesman's um, sales for the three series it relates the series to each other in terms of the percentage of a, a whole so what do I mean what am I trying to say maybe Mariah is the best example to illustrate this because she's got such a, diff a big difference between her uh, sales from March to January and February also so let's look at her numbers. In Mar Mariah, in March, I mean in January, I only sold two thousand five hundred dollars of product, and in March she sold a hundred thousand. And we can see that the green, which represents March, is as a as a percentage of her total sales, which is something like a hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred. March represents around 85 percent of her sales and that's what that that's what the hundred percent stacked is so instead of numbers here sales numbers we have a uh, vertical axis which is percentage of the total okay and her January sales represent uh, I would say around two percent just eyeballing it okay and that's what's going on with the uh, hundred percent stack column chart now we can also change to a totally different type of chart we can go to bar charts and you'll see because I've mentioned bar so many times in these videos and we're doing column let me just be thorough and show you that the bar chart is almost exactly the same as a column except the bars are going the opposite direction so let's click on this the clustered bar chart and as you can see it's very similar to our clustered column chart Let's click on the stacked bar chart. Very similar to the stacked column chart. And finally, let's click on the 100% stacked bar chart. And it's almost exactly the same as this 100% stacked column chart. Okay? So, in these th three videos, part A, B, and C, we've covered all the types of column and bar chart of course there's the 3d options but those are purely aesthetic 
We know how to build them. We know how to add series. We know how to remove series. And we know how to edit the labels for the horizontal axes. And we know how to build them from scratch, more importantly, instead of just what Excel suggests for us. Okay? So I hope these were helpful. And if you have any examples of problems you may have in creating more complicated charts, I'd be glad to uh, do a video tutorial on them. I'm also going to do a, a whole bunch of series of uh, video tutorials on other types of charts. And uh, so look out for my on my channel for those videos. Check out my other videos. And uh, make sure you comment, like, favorite, subscribe to my channel, and practice, practice, practice. Until next time, have a great day.